you're wondering where all the really cool coffee shops are in Lincoln, Nebraska. And today I'm gonna to share with you five of my favorite spots to go, whether it's meeting friends for coffee or just getting some work done. Let's go. What's up everybody? My name is Heidi Brandt and I'm a real estate agent here in Lincoln, Nebraska with Home Real Estate. And I'm making videos on what it's like to live, work and play in Lincoln, Nebraska. And if you wanna know more about what it's like to live here, work here, play here, hit that subscribe button, like this video, leave a comment on videos you'd like to see and we'll make it happen. If you are looking to move here or just want more information, feel free to send me a text, call, email. You can even send the carrier pigeon. I will respond and we'll get you what you need. Today I want to talk about one of my favorite things, which is coffee. I don't have very many vices, but coffee is definitely one of them. I love just going to a coffee shop, whether it's just meeting friends or actually getting some work done. Most of these videos are actually edited in a coffee shop. So the first one I'm going to talk about is the Mill Coffee and Tea. And they now have four locations, but the original one is my favorite in the historic Haymarket downtown Lincoln. Uh, started in 1975. One of my favorite things to do in the summertime is meet friends down there. We'll grab a cup of coffee and hang out for a little bit. And then on Saturday mornings, they have the farmer's market in the hay market, which is a lot of fun, uh, great produce and meat and all that good stuff. So that is my favorite spot for the mill. They also have uh, the College View location, which is by Union College, kind of in the middle of Lincoln. They also have the Innovation Campus Mill, which is part of the University of Nebraska. Uh, it's a technology spot for the university. It's a really cool, beautiful building that they have the mill and coffee shop in. And then the other one that I love, uh, I used to do a lot of studying here, was the Telegraph Mill. And it is a little bit out of downtown, but still towards uh, that area. And it used to be an old Telegraph telephone building that they've kept a lot of the character, beautiful woodwork, old gorgeous windows. Uh, it's a really cool spot to go. And they have a really awesome patio that in the summertime they'll do a lot of events like uh, music in the summer or events with other, they'll collaborate with different breweries or things like that. So obviously different this last year with COVID, but um, on a normal year when things, everyone's out and about, that is one of my favorite spots to go in the summer. Um, check out their website for their stories. I will have all the links below for all of the coffee shops I'm about to talk about, but the Mill Coffee and Tea is, is again, one of my favorite. They roast their own coffee, and they also have some really good treats as well, which most of them do. Um, the next one I'm gonna talk about is the Coffee House, which is at 12th and P. So downtown, but not in the Haymarket, what's considered the Haymarket. Uh, really good spot to just go grab a cup of coffee. Uh, they are definitely known for their pastries, but love grabbing a, grabbing a cup uh, and just walking around downtown with the shops and different things that are going on, especially in the summertime in Lincoln. So they have one of my favorite winter drinks, which is called Vanilla Bean Ginger Latte. It's totally different than what you've had before, uh, but it really hits the spot on a cold day. So the Coffee House at 12th and P is another one of my favorites. Um, the Hub Cafe, which is off of the bike path around 21st and O Street, and this this place is one of my favorites. One, because you can bike to it or walk if you're on the trails and end up there for brunch. They have an amazing Sunday brunch. Uh, the Hub Cafe is actually owned by Branch Oak Farms and they're big on supporting local farm to table. So whether it's their meats or pastries, uh, cheeses, produce, all that kind of stuff, they come from local places only. And they have an amazing chef, they, their food is amazing, but they also have a really cool patio that overlooks the, the bike path so you can get some really good people watching in as well. But really good spot for Sunday brunch or just breakfast or lunch any day, um, or just go hang out with and have a cup of coffee there as well. Um, another one of my favorites is called Rock and Joe, and this is off of the beaten path of being downtown. It's actually South 84th Street in Lincoln, but this is a cool place. They have partnered up with Glacier Till uh, winery which they carry all their wines and so in the evenings you can go and have a glass of wine or cider uh, or whatever but they have a really cool patio that has a fireplace and a big TV um, you can sit outside and watch a game or just hang out uh, with a fire pit um, out there as well so Rock and Joe's South Lincoln really cool spot 
Um, they roast their own as well um, and have some good lunch and breakfast options. And the last one I'm gonna talk about is the Harbor Coffee House, which has two locations. One of them is downtown and one of them's kind of in the middle on South Cotner. And they are known for really good cinnamon rolls. And so if you're looking for a really tasty, sweet treat of a old fashioned cinnamon roll and some good coffee, check the Harbor House, the Harbor Coffee House out. Um, they also are known for local talent and bringing in music and, and different bands that are local on weekend nights, Friday, Saturday nights. Um, it's a good little spot to go hang out and do something. Again, a little bit different this past year. This is filmed January of 2021. So this past year obviously was a little bit different, but hopefully we're getting back to what is normal by this summer when all these things are, are happening again. But those are my five favorite coffee, sh coffee shops in Lincoln. Um, go check them out. Like I said, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. I will happily answer it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to know more about what it's like to live, work, and play in Lincoln, Nebraska, and I'll see you on the next one.